some truths that Christians need to believe in. I am an awesome creation of an awesome God made in his awesome image. God says what he makes is good. God looks upon the heart, not the outward appearance. God is love. God is in control. God will never fail me. God takes good care of me. God loves me so much that he gave his son Jesus for me. I am as valuable to God as his son Jesus is to him. Jesus loves me so much that he died on a cross to take the punishment for my sins away from me. God forgives me of all of my sin. God makes me as righteous as Jesus is. God loves me regardless of my sinful behavior. It's an unconditional love. God's awesome love for me never changes. God is like a perfect father to me. Jesus is like a perfect husband to me. Jesus is like a perfect shepherd taking care of my needs. There is nothing too difficult for my good God to do for me. There is nothing to worry about trusting in God. God is for me, not against me. God can easily destroy all of my enemies for me. I always win with God. God is good all the time even during my worst suffering experiences. God's justice is perfect. God is my perfect problem solver. God gives me the power to do whatever he asks me to do. I can trust in God's wisdom and muscles and money. I don't have to trust in my wisdom or my muscles or my money. All I need is God to be happy now. I can have a fullness of joy in God's presence now. I can have Perfect peace, trusting in good God right now. God fulfills me. God can fulfill me in whatever circumstance I am in. The created things of the world cannot fulfill me, but God, my creator of me, can fulfill me. God wants us to try to get our happiness from him spiritually and not just from his created things physically. 
If I'm not feeling good emotions, it is always just my own fault. It is never God's or other people's or Satan's fault. What we choose to believe in, God's truth or Satan's lies, creates our emotions, good or bad. The way to success is a good relationship with God. The way to success is to try to love God with all of your heart and mind and soul and strength and to try to love others like God loves you. The way to success is to try to be a loving, joyful servant of all. I need to pray and obey and resist and repent for my success today. I need to continually meditate upon God's truth for my success today. Some of the most important things to do today are Bible study, prayer, love God, love others, and try to teach others God's truth. God is worthy of my great praise for Him. God is worthy of my great worship of Him. God is worthy of my great thanks to Him. Other people's wrong opinions of me don't matter to me. I am only responsible for my own choices towards God, and other people are responsible for their choices towards God. God wants me to try to teach His truth to others regardless of whether they want to choose to believe in it or not. The Holy Spirit's power can help to crucify my sinful flesh nature in me. I can walk in the power of God's Holy Spirit if I want to. I can bear the fruit of God's Holy Spirit if I want to. I can do all things through Christ who enables me to. It is no longer I who live in me, it is now Christ who lives in me by His Holy Spirit. I can have the mind of Christ now. Jesus and Paul are my examples to follow. I have to be in a spiritual war with Satan, but I can always win it with God's help too. Choosing to believe in God's truth and meditate upon it often helps me to overcome Satan's temptations to believe in his lies. Satan is a liar and I resist believing in his lies about God and about me. Sin is always harmful to my fulfilling relationship with God and I should always try to resist doing it or quickly repent of doing it if I do it. A little sin unrepented of can turn into a lot of worse sin if we choose to allow it to. When we sin, we can let demons in to enslave us. 
we need to ask God to forgive us for our daily sins and deliver us from any demons which have started to build strongholds in our lives through them. The world has to be an evil and suffering place because God wants to give us a free will choice. I have to live in an evil and suffering world but God can help me through it, bring good out of it for me, make me happy in it, and help me not to be bothered by it. When I die, I will live in a perfect place called heaven with my perfect God forever.